Hello everyone! Welcome to Eating the Alphabet. I'm Miss Laura from Albert Einstein Medical Center, your fun Eat Right Philly health educator. I am very excited to be here today. Today we're going to learn about a type of cheese called Edam cheese. E is for Edam cheese. Look at the picture of the Edam cheese. What colors do you see? What shapes? Do you think it looks hard or soft? I'm so excited to teach you all about Edam cheese. Edam cheese is just one of the many different types of cheese that there are. Does anyone know the name of another type of cheese? Swiss cheese, brie, American, and mozzarella are a few of the different names of cheeses. Yum. Many cheeses are named after the places where they were first made. Edam cheese is named after the town of Edam in the country, the Netherlands. Take a look at the map. Can you see where Philadelphia is? How about Edam? When they make the cheese in Edam, how do you think it gets to us here in Philly? Could you drive it in your car? No, the Atlantic Ocean is in the way. How else could it get here? That's right, it would need to come on a boat or an airplane. Most food that comes over the water travels on a boat. It costs too much money to put it on an airplane. This is a picture of the cheese market in Edom. Cheesemakers have their cheese displayed in hopes of selling it. Would you like to buy some? I love this picture. Look at all the colors and the costumes. I'd like to write a story about it. If you were going to write a story about this picture, what would you say? Where does cheese come from? Does it grow on a tree or under the ground? No, cheese needs to be made. What do you need to make cheese? That's right! You need milk to make cheese. You take the milk and add the other ingredients in the recipe and cook it on top of the stove. Look at the pot. What do you see? The liquid that you see is called the whey and the solid clumps are the curds. You drain the whey from the curds and then you shape the curds and you get cheese. Edam cheese is made from cow's milk. Other types of cheese can be made from the milk of a cow, or of a sheep, or a goat, or even a water buffalo. Cheese is in the dairy group on my plate. It's the blue section in the picture. We know that it's a dairy food because it's made from milk. The picture on the right shows all types of dairy products that are all very tasty. Can you point to the Edam cheese? Great job! What other foods do you see in the picture that go in the dairy group? Right, milk and yogurt also go in the dairy group. Edam cheese is both tasty and nutritious. Cheese has calcium in it. Calcium is good for three parts of our body, the bones, the heart, and the teeth. It helps all three stay strong so that we can stay healthy. Cheese also has the mineral phosphorus in it. Phosphorus is also good for our bones and our teeth, just like calcium. Eden cheese is usually sold in the shape of a sphere and covered in wax that is black, yellow, or red. The wax is used to protect the part of the cheese that we eat. But we don't eat the wax, we just eat the delicious cheese. Unlike most dairy products, Edam cheese does not need to be refrigerated when it has the wax on it. Once the wax is removed, this type of cheese must stay in the refrigerator to make sure that it stays fresh. Which cheese in the picture needs to go into the refrigerator? The red one or the white one? That's right, the white one doesn't have the wax on it, so it needs to go into the fridge. There are many ways that we can eat Edam cheese. You can have it as a snack and eat it with crackers or fruit or meat. 
or you could have it as a meal and add it to your favorite dishes or a sandwich. You could even have Edam cheese on a salad. What are some ways that you like to eat cheese? I like to put cheese on my sandwiches, eat it with crackers, and put it on top of broccoli. Yippee! You can eat cheese cold or you can heat it up. What happens to cheese when you heat it? That's right, it melts. Another tasty way to eat Edam cheese is by heating it up and melting it, just like how we make a grilled cheese sandwich. Edam cheese is considered a semi-soft cheese. That means that it's not so soft that you can spread it like cream cheese, but it's not so hard that you have to grate it like Parmesan cheese. That's the cheese that you sprinkle on spaghetti. Semi-soft cheese is really good cheese to melt. We all know that we need to wash our fruits and vegetables before we eat or cook them. But do we need to wash cheese before we eat it? No, cheese is washed before it's put into the package. But you do need to wash your hands before you eat it. Now let's try and remember all the things we learned about Edam cheese. Edam cheese is filled with calcium. Can you remember what part of the body it was good for? If you said the bones, the heart, and teeth, you are right. Edam cheese helps these three areas stay strong and healthy. Where was Edam cheese first made? I'll give you a hint, it's in its name. Edam cheese was first made in and is named after the town of Edam in the Netherlands. What food group does Edam cheese go in? All cheese goes into the dairy group. What are some other foods that go in the dairy group? Right, milk and yogurt go in the dairy group. What is the nutrient that we get from dairy foods that is good for our bones and teeth? Correct, calcium is good for our bones and teeth and phosphorus too. And for extra credit, what color vegetable also provides calcium? Hmm, let's see if you can remember that from another lesson. That's right, good job. Dark green vegetables also provide calcium. Way to go. Does Edam cheese need to be refrigerated? With the wax on, it does not need to go into the refrigerator. But once we take the wax off, it does. Once the protective wax is off, the Edam cheese needs the cold of the refrigerator to keep it fresh longer. What do you always do before you cook or eat food? Right, wash your hands. 20 seconds, tops and bottoms. And the last question is, what is your favorite way to eat cheese? There's no right or wrong answer to this question. Any way that you like to eat cheese is the best way to eat cheese. My favorite way is to add it to a sandwich. Thank you. That's how they say thank you in Edom, Netherlands. I hope that you learned a lot today about Edom cheese. I had so much fun teaching you. I hope that you'll find some fun ways to add it to your favorite meals. See you next time.